Hello everybody and welcome back to another Train Sim World East Coastway video. Today we are um, we are doing an enthusiast excursion, operate a non-stop run between Brighton and Eastbourne as part of a special train running along the south coast. So we're gonna go from here over the viaduct over here past the fork go up instead of down and all the way to the end so yeah let's do it here we are welcome to Brighton a special enthusiast train has been laid on to explore the south coast you'll be operating the train as far as Eastbourne okay so it's like a, a train where people see whoa it's a long train Is that my train that's a long train I get the long train, so probably 12, um, three trains put together to make 12 um, cars, I assume. Okay, and then, so yeah, here's the connection between train number, or maybe, uh, one, two, three, oh no, there's a connection right, heh, two, three, I still it's a very long train, but I don't know how long. It seems like we're like 10 long, it looks like. Like not 12 or 8, we're like 10. We're like in between the two, which I didn't know that was possible, but eh, whatever. Yeah, we're 8 apparently, okay. Whatever, we're not 12. I thought we were 12. I thought we were like the maximum length. Nope. Okay. Forward. Prepare the train and await for departure. Do I gotta open the doors? Go ahead and open the doors so the people start getting in. Um, you have brake applied. Okay, so we're good. We're not gonna roll. Okay, we're loading. Yeah, that's what they wanted, to, wanted us to do. Okay. Good. Glad we're obliging by the rules of the railway. Let me make sure this is all good. Okay, yeah. Open this door. Close this door. Lock out the cabin's quarters. Lower the second man see there we go. Nice and cozy cabin. Okay, lock the doors. Door closed. Proceed when the signal permits. Oh, they just changed green. Okay, go. Okay. Here we go. We're leaving uh, the station here. At um uh, Brighton. Brighton station. Yep, the big station at the end of the line. And we're going all the way to the other end of the line. So pretty cool. We'll get to explore this um this route very heavily. So yeah, there's one more mission after this, and then after this, um, I wanna I'm, I'm, we're gonna do the um the new the new um the new um cow train that came out uh, recently. A new cow train came out, so that's what we're gonna be doing after um East Coastway, and then and then probably after that, we're probably I'm I'm probably gonna wanna try to do um a CSX mission because it's been a while since we've done a big CSX mission. That'll be fun. I don't know how many more missions on CSX we have, but I think we're we're approaching the end of CSX. Here we go. We're going over the viaduct right now. Let's go ahead and get an external camera. There we go. Yeah, I think we're approaching the end of um the CSX heavy haul. But the good news is is they're releasing a new kind of heavy haul kind of like basically a freight exclusive route. Uh, Canadian national trains. And that's going to be a new, um, just freight exclusive, so there's not going to be any passenger trains. Kind of like how on CSX there's no passenger trains, it's literally just freight. Like, very long freight missions. That's kind of what I think I think the new route they're adding is going to be like, so that'll be pretty cool. It'll be kind of like CSX, but it'll have different scenery and stuff. Because I feel like we've explored most of, the, of, most of what that route has to offer. We've explored most of the Allegheny Mountains and all that. But yeah. So I don't know if this is going to be a two-parter. Probably not. We're probably going to be able to get to our destination pretty quick. Um, that's actually a Govia right there. Luz. So yeah, it's before the fork. Right. Yeah, Luz is the place right before the fork. Right before you split off is Luz. And then the tracks split off at Luz. And you can go up to Eastbourne or down, to, I think, um, Saltburn by the Sea. I could, and I might be wrong. I'm, I'm, I might be getting a different route confused. Um, 
But I know you do go really close to the water, because there was a boat down there. So yeah, that's that's kind of my plan for this um for the series. And I'm I, I know you guys enjoy the the train sim world, and I enjoy it too. So we'll keep on doing it. We're actually approaching the anniversary of Train Sim World. I think probably like the 26th or 27th. I'll have to check. But I know I got Train Sim World for my birthday, which you know is this month. So everybody wish me happy birthday. Um, not yet though. It's a little bit early, but yeah, I'm, it's coming up. Um, but yeah, I got this game for my birthday, and then ever since then I've been playing it nonstop. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, bridge. We got a 60 coming up. We can go ahead and forward to floor it a little bit. So yeah, I can't wait to try out the new um, the new Caltrain that they just released. Sounds pretty fun. Let's go ahead and coast. And I think we probably should, you know, do a time lapse, you know, like 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 now, maybe. Let's go ahead and get that front angle that we like, that angle looking at the front of the train. I know this angle's always really cool looking. Even though it's kind of hard to drive, it's really good looking, and I've all, I'll always do it for time lapses, because it just looks the best. Okay, go. Approaching. I'm going to get an, an internal camera because we have a 10 coming up um, right here. It's actually pretty far away. Oh, no, keep, keep keep the speed up, actually. Yeah, it's pretty far away. 0.9. I mean, it's a go via location, but there is a 10, so we'll go ahead and slow down to stay under the 10. Um, I don't know if we're going to go back up again or what, but yep, that's, that's what we're doing. Through the tunnel. It's dark. It's scary. I think apply a, 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 a decent amount of brakes, like two. Two brakes should be optimal. I think we can go ahead and drift back up to one brake there. Doing pretty good. Stopping pretty nice. We're, we're not stopping, we're just slowing. Don't know why we're slowing this far down to meet a one, but we are. It's like, it's like we are stopping here, but we're not stopping here. It's kind of weird. Okay, let's coast. Oh, coasting. 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 Okay, zero. I think it's for this junction, probably. Because we got a 20 right here. Okay. So I just gotta be careful with this junction. Oh, I guess this is a pretty big station, actually, so. Yeah. So yeah, we gotta have to go slowly through it. Big, giant station. I don't think we'll be late. I don't think we really have a time to be late, because if we really are just kind of being... It's kind of a scenic service. It's not really like, you know, we're trying to get there on the time, but I think there probably is a time. I don't, I'm not sure, though. Okay, there we go. Eastbourne, 1631. Okay, so that's our destination. 14 miles away at Eastbourne at 6 by 1631. Okay, I think, I th I think we got that. Just gotta slowly coast through this station. Coast through Luz. We can't be blasting through Luz. Yeah, I get, uh, yeah, these turns are pretty sharp. Yeah, these junctions are pretty sharp. These turns. We got a 40, though, right here, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry. See, 40 there. 40, and then 40 right there. I can read signs. Yeah, but it's gonna wait for the back of us to go over it. But I guess I can start applying some power. Couldn't hurt. A little bit of power didn't hurt anybody. Like 15. I think that, that'll be the limit for me. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and coast and get into, get into the 60. And then I'll start the next time lapse. 
Um, but yeah, some, um, so some news that if you guys haven't heard on my channel, we are starting a new series, um, Thursday. I haven't got any recommendations for, for, like, suggested games, but I have a pretty game, I have a pretty good game in mind. Now, um, how I want to, where I want to slot it into the, the, the thing, if, or into my schedule is going to be a bit difficult, because I was trying to think, like, should I just straight up replace Train Sim World with this farm, or Train Mechanic Simulator, not Train Sim World, Train Mechanic Simulator, with, um, this Farm Mechanic Simulator, or should I make it a, fr make it, make, make it our Friday slot? So Friday, instead of whatever you get, either Durango or Welker, uh, it'll be Farm Mechanic, and then you'll always have Welker Wednesday, and Durango will always be on Monday. So it's Durango, Train Sim World, Welker, Train Sim World, Farm Mechanic Simulator. Let me know what you guys think about that. That would be easier for me, I feel like, to do that in that order. But if you guys don't like that, then that's fine. We won't do that. But I think for this first week, I will do it the normal way. And if you guys want me to change that, I'll change it. If you guys like it the way it is, I'll keep it the way it is. It's just whatever you guys think. But I thought it would be kind of cool if we had Farm Mechanics Friday, Wilker Wednesday every week, and um, Durango on Monday every week. Anyway, there's the fork. We could have gone that way, but we're going this way. Let's get another external. Let's get a front boom out here. Let's raise it up pretty high above the treetops. There we go. That's pretty awesome. We got an 80 coming up. Oh boy. We can pretty soon put the throttle to max. We driven 37 miles. When can we put the throttle to max? Just let me know. Let me know and we'll go. Throw that bridge. Don't hit their face on the bridge. Okay, we're fine. We got another class. Ooh, a 90. Hello. Okay, max throttle time. Back in the in the front camera, going up. No, in, in, internal. Uh, dropping on down to 35. Okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Great. We're gonna lose speed now. Okay. Off. On. Go. Off. On. Go. Off. Off. On. Go. That's what they told me to do. And we went into emergency. Off, on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to go into emergency, but I accidentally went into emergency. I pressed the wrong button. It's fine, though, that we're, we're, we're really early, so it's fine. We can lose some time. But yeah, I was slowing down to this 35 and then accidentally went into emergency there. 35. There's a, there's a, there's a sign right there. See, see, see. 35. Yeah. And we got 72. Okay, we got a 70. Okay. Yeah, our destination is still 3.8 miles away. Um, I guess the 35 is for this turn. Yeah, it's pretty sharp turn. Sharp turn. Whoa, sharp turn. Okay, and then 70. Floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Floor it. Throttle to the max. Throttle to the max. Throttle to the max. Throttle to the max. An air vent. It is an air vent. Buzzer code. Tail lights. Headlights. Oh, shouldn't we have those? Day running. Shouldn't we have day headlights? What is that? Isn't that supposed to be a thing that we have on trains? Also, a horn. Shouldn't we blow our horn? There we go. Nyom. Aha. Nice. Oh, yeah, we have, a, oh, we have, a, we have a 55 coming up. Okay. Right next to our stop is a, is a 55. It's not too bad. 
So yeah, pretty sure this is going to be a one-parter. This mission was rated for 40 minutes, but... Really? It didn't even take me that long. We're still at 30. I, I haven't even recorded for 30 minutes. And we're almost done. I guess I, I guess I could change. At any minute, it could change. Okay, let's apply some brakes. Speaking of things that could change, I'm going to save so that if we do crash and burn and we don't lose all that progress. I would hate to lose a bunch of progress. Hello, people. We're whizzing past you. Oh, wait, the 55 is right there. Okay. Start flowing down. Yeah, it's still pretty far away. 55 is still all the way over there. We're fine. Don't worry about it. It's all the way over there. Behind the green. <laughs> Hit me hard. I'm ready for you. I'm going 54. I'm ready for you. I'm ready to take you. No. Hey, wait. A BR class? What? What? Is it? Are we on Tease Valley Line? I don't know what that was, but it looked like the Tees Valley Line train. I have to look back at that at editing. That was, huh? Huh? What? That was kind of weird. That's 25. Oh, 25. Oh, okay. Good to see you there. Hello, 25. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Okay, power. There it goes. Good. Okay. Sorry about that. I was recording. Okay. Slowing down, slowing down. Good. Easy does it. Okay. We're gonna have a good stop, hopefully. We're drifting slightly above the speed limit, but it's fine. Coming in here nice and slow. We'll wait to open our doors, because we, we shouldn't be opening them until 1631, technically speaking. There we go. Good. We're gonna hit that, but it's fine, because we're... Okay. No, that was perfect. That was per that was a perfect stop. Thank you for ensuring it remained fault three. Uh, we did apply emergency, but, um, yeah, I, I would say that fault free. Yeah, I would say that fault free. I did accidentally apply emergency brakes, but fault free. Okay, unlock doors, not yet. 1631. We wait. Uh, they're still stuck in the train, but I'm just gonna go walk around for a little bit, you know, stretch my legs. A little bit, technically we're early, so they're fine. My passengers are fine. They don't need to worry about anything. Isn't that right, passengers? You're fine in there. Keep it... Oh. Are there no passengers in my train? There is nobody in the train. There was nobody. There is nobody in this train. No, there's people. Okay. They're just closer to the back. But yeah, very empty. The train's not, like, packed full. Which you think it would be. Is that a route map? That is a route map. Ha, huh. Badoosh. Yeah, Seaford. Not Saltburn. I think that's, um... I think that's Tease Valley, actually, with salt burned by the sea. But no, Seaford is there. Yeah, Luz, and then Seaford. We only went as far as New Haven Harbor um, down this route. So we didn't actually go to Bishop Stone or Seaford. Um, so yeah, we might have to do that, like, in a live stream or something. Go all the way down, but take the bottom part of the fork. So when we hit the fork, go down and explore the other side of the route. Um, but yeah. I think I got everything that we can, unless there's a fence. I don't see any any fences. I mean, one of these fences might be damaged, but we gotta go let our passengers out. They're not gonna let themselves out. I gotta do it quickly, 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 Oh, this door needs to be open. There you go. There you go, people. Get on my train! Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard my train! Wow, another train's a lot more busy now, now, now that I'm not driving, huh? You guys don't like me driving? Where's, where's, where's Hashtings? Hostings, 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 Hostings. I don't see Hostings on the map! I think you're crazy! Okay, I just gotta put the direction switched off. Okay. And make sure the key is also off. And... You know, like, leave the train. Like, close the door. There we go. So nobody can drive away with my train. Oh, look, everybody's getting on my train. Wow! 
You guys really love my train now that I'm not driving it, huh? Yeah. Well, there we go. That was pretty good. I think we stayed. We did pretty good. I did push it to 100 here. I wanted to. Put, I wanted to see if there was an achievement for 100, but there wasn't. So then I'm like, okay, just drop it back down. <laughs> and then that's where we um we had our emergency stop right there after. So I went up to 100, and then 100 to zero in like probably like a minute. So yeah. Good whiplash, and then here is it, 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 it. trying to stay under. Ugh. It's very hard to stay under these speed limits. I struggled a little bit. I mean, here I did. I, I feel like I did pretty good, and I got a gold medal. So, really, was there a problem? No, there was no problem. Uh, we actually even got here a little early, but I waited to open the doors, so we got the gold medal for doing that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please be sure to leave a like subscribe for new videos have a great day great rest of your day and yeah see you guys next time for more train sim world where we okay next scenario is eastbourne end complete the final portion of a service to eastbourne then take the train out of service for the night okay so we're basically gonna be doing lose to eastbourne what we just did and then we're going to be doing some, some, I guess, train washing um, and yard shunting and stuff. So, that sounds pretty cool. And then, um, like I said, after that, we're going to be doing the new um, train on Peninsula Corridor. That's not what I wanted to click on. I guess I guess, I guess that works. Uh, where is it? Right here. The Baby Bullet, or the MP36. Nope, this is the train. MP36PH3C. That's what we're going to be trying to play with next time. Um, I was going to click here so we could see um, latest news. So, as you can see, look, we got um, Canadian and well, yeah, like Canadian national trains. Pretty cool looking. I think these are the exact same trains, but they're just branded as Canadian national. So that's pretty cool. And then, obviously, we have the the um, the bullet train, or just a very fast train. You guys can pause and read the specs of this, but this is what we'll be doing in a little bit. That's a very fancy control cabin. Uh, looks like a horn. Got two brakes, a throttle, and a reverser. Or maybe that's the reverser. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out and do the tutorial. But yeah, looking very nice. Ooh, is this a cab car? It looks like kind of like a cab car. Um, yeah, probably a cab car. On the back, so we can go backwards. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet looking. Okay. Well, goodbye.